Okay, y'all, so in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the new DaVinci Resolve 18.1 update that came out, I believe, today or yesterday. So it came with a lot of good features, but the number one feature that I want to take a look at today is the RTX 4090's performance when it comes to exporting with the new AVI codec. So we're already here in DaVinci Resolve, and I have a couple of clips that I shot Two years ago when the ursa mini pro 12k first came out we have this here we have candy it's 12k 24 frames per second and i have it set to 8k again i don't shoot like this anymore but i know some of you out there still do uh but i have it in the timeline here because first things first i want to know how well does it play as far as 8k footage goes so let's go ahead and press play here and what's cool about this test is i'm using the same computer as i had two years ago Obviously, the difference is just the RTX 3090. I don't have that anymore. It's just the 4090. And so far, it's doing a pretty darn good job playing this B-Raw footage at 8K from a 12K camera, 24 frames per second. So this is this is pretty amazing stuff. And what I'll do is I'll just copy and paste this here so we can get like a minute. But here's one minute and one second. And again, I just want to know, and some of y'all wanted to know, how fast can the RTX 4090 render this in AV1? I'm going to go to Render tab right here. And I'm just going to name this AV1. And I'll just put this in this folder right here. I'll save it. And if I go to MP4, actually it's already set there, you're going to see that we have now an AV1, AV1 NVIDIA right here again, which is the new thing. We have main, main 10. I'm just going to set it to main. And I'm going to say QCP, very slow, high quality. And then what I'll do is I'll leave everything else by default. So this quality best, constant QP, very slow, high quality. And again, I can play around with it a little bit more. But we're going to start with this here. ACC is okay. And I'll just change this to 4400. And yeah, let's go ahead and just render Q and press render. This is one minute of 8K footage. Okay, so that completed in a minute and 36. I'm going to go to my media here, and I'm going to see if I can go ahead and drag and drop that clip into DaVinci just to see if that's supported as well as far as editing AV1 footage. And I think, yeah, that's awesome. It's supporting it, so that's perfect. I can record in AV1, and now I can edit in AV1, so that's very good news. I'll go ahead and press stop, and then I'll just delete this for now. And what I'll do is I'll take a look and see how big that file was. That's going to open a folder. That's 131 megabytes. 128 megabytes for a 1 minute 8K footage. Let's see how the difference is as far as the quality goes, right? All right, so I'll kind of make this bigger here. And then what I'm going to do is just kind of zoom in here. So pretty much to see if the, you can see the difference between the original. I know this is no by, by no means scientific, but I, I'm just really just curious. So this is the AV1 right now. And this is the original footage. Uh, something I am noticing is that it looks like the original footage is slightly sharper. Ever so slightly sharper. And I mean, detail, noise is detail. So yeah, you can see a little bit of noise right here as well. In the original one and then the av1 it just kind of gets blurry but considering the file difference between these two clips is pretty insane because this is let me go check this is a three gigabyte file <laughs> that's crazy and i guess let's take a look and see what candy looks like in the uh, av1 and then the original so this is av1 yeah, so it gets a little bit blurrier, and this is 8K. So you do lose a little bit of detail there, because I am zoomed in in here. I mean, if you want to, I can go a little bit more. So this is AV1, and this is the original clip. So yeah, that's pretty interesting. I mean, but to be honest, if you... If you Count in compression and bitrate watching it online. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. Because if I'm looking at this right now on the widescreen, I can't tell you. <laughs> I can't tell you what this is doing before and after. So obviously, if you zoom, zoom, zoom in, you're going to see the difference. But again, what I'll do is I will go to like very fast. I'm going to change it to very fast. I'm going to say constant uh, QP 
tuning is high quality, very fast. Let's see how fast this is going to render and what is it gonna look like compared to the original file, right? So let's just do that, just for fun. Um, this is gonna be AV1 fast. Okay, so add to render queue and then press render. All right, so that rendered in a minute and eight seconds. So let's go ahead and pull it in. This is fast. And again, I'll just stack it on top. This one's fast, so move it here. And again, we will just kind of go to whenever she's in focus, like so, and I'll zoom in. All right, so I'll go ahead. This is the AV1, and this is the original file. And again, let's take a look and see how big that file type is. So roughly the same. Actually, the fast one has one more megabyte than the slow one. So, I mean, the difference in render speed wasn't really that much. But in this case, I think I would still go at a normal route. Again, if I zoom out, you're not even going to tell the difference, man. It's, it's just not going to happen, especially if you're watching on a phone. You're not going to be able to tell the difference between the two. And I guess I can take a look at the motion here if I disable this track. So just kind of see the motion cadence and just the way everything is. It looks pretty darn good on my end. Everything looks natural. Okay, I mean, it's actually a perfect shot to try this out because her eyes. Okay, so that's AV1. That's original. AV1, that's the original. So, you do get a little bit more detail in the original file. It's a minute for a minute now. This is insane. It's insane. Coming from a Pentium 4, I used to render H.264s at like, what is it back then? 480p. <laughs> and I would wait like 20 minutes for that. And The technology is, man, I, I love it absolutely love it i love being a part of it it's super cool all right so the last thing we're gonna do is compare this to the old method like you know if i were just to do it without av1 so if i go to mp4 and let's go to h265 first um this is going to be qcp as well and this is going to be nvidia i'm going to change it to nvidia constant qp uh, i'm going to leave everything pretty similar to what we just did and i'm going to go with very slow in this one high quality and I'll say H264 six, six, slow. And let's see how long this renders. I think constant KP, very slow. And then add to render queue. I mean, obviously, if I'm doing all these wrong, there's missing some settings. Let me know in the comments below. But this just came out. So I just went ahead and played with it a little bit. Okay, so here we are with the render being finished and it finished about two minutes and nine seconds so compared to the fast of the av1 it's about double double the speed as far as rtx 4090 in the traditional rendering method and again that's that's just crazy to me and, and that's one of the things that i was telling people about it's not it's not just about gaming right uh, the RTX 4090, you can game with it, you can create, you, you can use it for virtual production, you can use it for editing, AI stuff, it, it's crazy, deep fake, it's insane of what you're getting for $20 of upgrade from the RTX 3090. So let's pull that footage, I'll put it, I'm going to pull it here, and again, I want to see how big this file is. So it took twice the time, and it's doubled the size. That's what I am looking at right now that's what it seems like that's the case that's pretty cool that's that's insane so um what i'll do is i'll stack i'll go ahead and just move this for now i'm gonna move the original to the right and we're gonna stack the av1 and the um the h265 this is actually h265 my bad i i mislabeled it so i'm gonna go ahead and show you the av1 again and we're looking at the same kind of thing when should have whatever she looked Thing is towards the end right here so i'm gonna zoom in so this is av1 and this is the h265 av1 h265 so there it is yes i do see if i zoom in all the way in here if i go to av1 it is blurrier 
very, very interesting. If I go to H.265, it's double the size, double the render speed, but it looks like you get a little bit more detail back there. Very cool. Again, this is not scientific. I am just really doing this and showing y'all. And that is from my observation, the H.265. You know, if you're watching this again, that's AV1 and this is H.265. A AV1, so, so this is AV1 and this is H265. Again, it's, I can't, I can't see. I can't see it. There's just, there's not enough information for me to tell the difference between these two at a wider view and not zoomed in. So that's pretty much it. I know this video ran a little bit longer, but that is my first impression with the RTX 4090 AV1 performance in the Vinci Resolve 18.1. Let me know if you have any questions. Like always, thanks for watching. And again, at 70,000 subscribers, I'm going to be giving away an RTX 3060 with 12 gigabytes of VRAM. I'm going to be doing another competition of some sort. So stay tuned and make sure have everybody subscribe. Peace out.